Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. We are reporting live, live from New York. It's not Saturday night, and it's Sunday, and it's not New York oh. or New England. Which a lot of people actually think New York, New England. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting live from New England. <laughs> Different New England. I love something in my teeth. And I kept thinking today was Monday, but that's how it goes. Today, in the first time in a long time that I actually knew it was Sunday. I knew it was Sunday. I thought, because I always think, always, always think my Sundays are Mondays. Mm, yeah. I have that problem, too. I've been doing that lately. But, but today, you knew today, it was a Sunday? It felt like a Sunday. I knew it was and Sunday. The lead up to Thanksgiving wow. is so exciting. You know what I mean? I mean, yes. Sarah and I are not going. We're just doing it ourselves, and we're gonna make um, a pot roast. We're not even making a turkey. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> we're so different. But we're gonna cook uh, the whole day. Uh, we're gonna cook. We're gonna eat. I'm sorry. We. I Sarah. am putting your ass to work. But the thing is, is the day after is the the Netherlands game, which we're gonna talk about in a second. Guys, and we have some bad news. I know we have bad news. I, know. I have to work, and I, I can't watch it. She's gonna. It starts, I believe, at Eastern to twelve thirty, and Sarah works until three that day. Call so. in sick. I, that's what I told her to do. Just kidding. Do, would you guys call in sick? No, I, we can just record it. I'll yeah. watch it later. But, we can, but it's, it's sad. sad. I can't Sucks. live react um, with y'all. I know it's gonna be. So that day we can eat the goodies too that we made from the day before. So yeah. we can eat. It's gonna be like two days, and it's Black Friday, and Wait, I need a computer. Wait, but I wanted to like eat while we watch the game. I know. But Babe, I'm not going to tell you who won, honestly. You do not check your Twitter. This is a plead for the Netherlands game. Can you guys push it back, like, a few hours <laughs> so or something? It's local 6.30 there, so do you Maybe want... Maybe, like, 8.30 yeah, or 9? Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's fine. That's actually not too um, bad. They're still working off the Thanksgiving meal that they're going to have. So, if you guys are listening, um, please just push it back a few hours yeah. and... We'll be golden. Yeah, exactly. Then I can watch it. <laughs> we'll see. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two things. We're going to talk about the Netherlands game in a second. But the, but the first thing I wanted to talk about was something that happened at the Man United game the other day that Ooh. we reacted to the Man United game the other day, but we didn't talk about this moment. A, because I don't even think I saw this moment because when it happened it wasn't it was at the end getting at the end of the game and someone a couple mm -hmm. people dm'd me about it as well and so i want to show you guys we're gonna have an opinion i want to see what your opinion is and we're gonna have an opinion i love this thing I have we, no opinion sarah and i used to do this game is it anything is this anything is this anything is this a thing is this oh a thing? this is a thing this is sending earthquakes i know it really this is. is quaking the entire right world so what we're gonna do we're gonna watch it we're gonna react to it and then we're gonna talk about it okay and All it's a pretty right. short clip. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so that the coach is walking up to the group. They're getting ready for the PKs. Mm -hmm. Coming up, kind of move them. Oh, Boom. the cold shoulder, literally. That was, and then they all move. Okay. We gotta watch it again. We gotta analyze and okay. assess the Let's situation. See. Okay, okay, so he's walking up. It, l it looks like he's trying to move the group, or actually, I don't know at this point, but let's see. He goes up. Okay, let's. Oh, 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 oh! The girl next to her? Yeah, she, her reaction to. And look, he, she kind of looks back at him, I think, or something, I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about that. I was. The person Shook. who had DM'd us, I hadn't seen it, and then I went to go look for it, and when I saw it, I was like, wow. Um, what's your initial reaction from that? That's kind of like a... My initial reaction is like, whoa, she's like really doesn't want to be touched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine, because, I mean, you're not supposed to touch people mm -hmm. during the COVID, really. I mean, That's number one, but number two teammates is... Teammates make love to each other. Well, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> teammates hug and lick each okay, other no, after the game. That's actually a know. discussion. Okay, so she didn't want to be touched. She made it known. That's not, do not touch me. I mean, that yeah. maneuver I mean, is maybe a, she didn't think the camera was watching. It doesn't matter, but though. No, I think it's the opposite. I think she knew she did performing. not care. She says, I no. don't want to be touched. Do not touch me. And, you know, that's a nonverbal type of thing that, like, no, don't touch me. I'm kind of almost thinking maybe she was, like, so in the zone. Because, like, she, they're about to do PKs, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe she's, like, trying, did she even shoot? Did Apparently she, she didn't shoot at PK. She was next in line if they needed one more person. Okay. So, so she, my thing is she's she's 
getting in the zone about it. Maybe mm-hmm. this is just one interpretation. Mm-hmm. Um, she's getting in the zone about it, and it's like anyone who's gonna touch her, like or tell her to move somewhere, and is she's like not just having... like whoa, back it up, Papa, the, back it yeah, up. Well, the part that I think, right? Like, don't touch <laughs> me. The part that I don't get is that the coach, and it has, it really doesn't have anything to do with the coach, really. And I want to make that clear that I don't Maybe. think the coach is doing. I don't think he's done anything egregious. I don't think what he did was, oh my god, I can't believe it. I think he should. I mean, it her. wasn't like that one call. It wasn't the ref. Yeah. It wasn't that one male footballer. Exactly. T- touching the ref. Exactly. It wasn't like. That. I don't think this coach is doing anything egregious. I don't. I, I don't even think he. I don't even think him is part of the conversation necessarily. But what I think is, he came up to the group. I think he was trying to move the group more to the PK area. Yeah, it looked like he was telling them to move or separate. And or for do something. some reason, he chose Kristen to go. Okay, let's move you guys. And maybe he shocked her, and then she got scared. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Through yeah. his gloves. And so he goes. He chose her to just say move up. Which I mean. I almost want to use the term that it's an innocent touch, but no touch you don't want is innocent. There's no such thing as an innocent touch, touch if you don't right want to. No, no one does not there. so <laughs> But I think that what is kind of interesting is that what I think is interesting is that it really gave me confidence as a woman to say, Kristen just said, I don't care who's watching, I don't care who's not watching, I don't care what the situation is. I'm going to show everyone I don't want to. It wasn't that wasn't her goal, but that's what she ended up doing is being like, nope. Don't touch me. Had no. Yeah. It had was didn't have kind a, of a kind of a kind of a moment. Yes. To kind of say, yeah. I don't want to be touched. I'm not going to be shy to say, you know, because a lot of women like I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Oh, I, I don't. You know, you know, sometimes when people I would, would not peg Kristen as the type to do that. And so neither would I. I. And I think that's why I was so. I think that's why I no. was so shocked in a good way. It was because she said, "Don't touch me." She made that clear, and I I doubt that man will ever. He is, looks like a coach to me. I doubt that he will ever touch her again like that which yeah. you know what i mean but i think that when she did that it was just like okay it gave me confidence to be like don't touch me because i think as women a lot of times we've been in situations where somebody will put their hand on your shoulder or something and you're like oh but you don't want to be like you don't want to seem back in the day it was considered rude if you said no now it's more accepted that that's just not acceptable be, don't touch yeah. yeah so i just love that because Sorry. i think she just made it clear hey it's not appropriate to touch me now let's go into what you were saying about the teammates interaction i think they have like an unspoken a un- knowing with each other's teammates they're like family with the teammates yeah they're like sisters in a lot of ways even if you don't get along with all your teammates you're kind of like a sister with them you know well who, who does get along with their sister Marie? yeah but, it's like you fight but you still love yeah, each other at but the i end think of the day. but i think at the end of the day even if a teammate touched you and you don't want to be touched that would be okay for you to say don't touch me but i mean i think the teammates have a different camaraderie different than, dynamic different yeah, dynamic yeah. a different camaraderie sure. different dynamic um, like I said, do I think that coach did anything like egregious, or do I think that was? Um, Let us know in the comments if you did. No. Yeah, yeah, no, right. Come what you know. Do you think no. that was something where you could say, okay, he shouldn't have touched her, but he, he. No, it was. Uh, but uh, this brings me back to my soccer days, and it's like my coach. So we had a few coaches throughout my soccer career in high school, um, and we had our creepy as freak coaches mm-hmm. yeah like creepy ones and i think a lot of people out there can relate to this so yes um also creepy basketball coach mm-hmm. male, we'll male coaches with female kids yeah yeah there are some that creepy there's some, creepy. There's some lines that shan't be crossed, some amazing okay? ones and then some people who do cross and then lines. there was this guy who was good he was he was a good coach mm-hmm. he was a little not i don't want to say handsy or touchy but sometimes he would just you know put a hand on a shoulder whatever mm-hmm. without thinking anything of it yeah and it wasn't anything you know but but it's still like a yeah should you be touching high schoolers but yeah. i know this is different but b like why are you touching me yeah it's creepy and i think even especially in the, like the last five years it's been known it's not rude to say don't 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 even do that it's rude to touch people it's rude to touch people their consent I mean, even in that situation, Kristen, there was no reason I had to touch her. I mean, it's not like, and she just made it clear, that's, don't, I don't feel like, and like Sarah said, could she have been in the moment? Possibly. But I know, I, that makes me such, to me, that's just such an empowered woman to say, don't touch me. No. And because she comes across as very, um, sweet, sweet and like, um, you know, in the way of not being aggressive, but to me, that's not an aggressive move. But that's basically standing up for herself. That she is standing up for herself that much to say, "Yeah, I'm not I, comfortable." I would definitely in front of everyone too. I want to see Kristen Press go off on someone. She, is that bad? No, like she, I want her to throw it down. 
Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Obviously, no. Ronda would kill her. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that actually just reminds me of someone who is just so confident within themselves. That kind of maneuver. Yeah. She is so confident, and she's a woman, and she says, "Nope, I don't care." But when you're in soccer, like when you're in the mo- in the mo- mm-hmm. mood, like there have t- there have been times where I've just been a like I I w- I was nice nice kid, you know. I was I was scared to like almost like be like mean to people, you know, mm-hmm. like. But on when you're on the field and when you're playing, it's, so it's like next yeah. level. You're yeah. like you're out there, and this is like high yeah. school. So imagine <laughs> when you're professional, Perfect, right? Yeah. Like when you're out there, you have like this almost like I had a different attitude. Yeah. Like I was a bad bitch and I was ready to kill people, right, yeah. on the yeah. field, right? So I mean, I get it that when you're in the mode, mm-hmm. you know, the mode and the mood, the mode, whatever. And then when a coach just comes up to you, whoever it is, guy, girl, whatever, just don't mess with me, don't bro. Touch me. Done. Or do, yeah, so like I've yelled at plenty of coaches. And okay, I, I yelled at a coach one time. I had a bad <laughs> attitude. Sorry. But I you know, and I think that a lot of the people watch the channel probably can relate to situations where a coach or somebody puts their hand on you and you just don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Even if it, I don't want to use the term innocent because it's nothing's innocent, but even if they mean nothing, it's something creepy. Sometimes you just don't want to be touched, you feel uncomfortable. Even another and, and this isn't just males though. Sometimes a female can tap you and it's not comfortable either. Yes, you just know what I mean? Touches from anybody. Yeah. Just so twenty twenty is the year of not touching. Yeah, you know, so don't touch anybody. And I guess exactly, exactly. I, and this is the other thing: if someone tells you, "Please don't touch me," don't take that as like a put down, or take don't take that as them being aggressive. You know, if you if you want to be nice and you touch them, and they say, "Please don't touch me," don't take that as they're just being rude or mean. Just say, "Okay, I completely understand." So, also Theo from a Haunting of Hill House, touch me. Oh dear, that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. We're gonna talk yeah, about yeah, something yeah. else, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Why um, so annoying? Hey guys, it's Sarah here. I'm just gonna wrap up the video now. We actually made this video. Um, we talked about two different things, but it got a little too long, so we just thought we'll make part two and we'll put it out tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the U.S. Women's National Training Camp in the Netherlands and also the friendly that's gonna happen. We talked a little bit about that, so look out for that tomorrow. And then this um, video that we talked about today, I hope, I hope everything made sense that, you know, when we talk about the, you know, the Kristen and what it means, I just think it empowers me as a woman to say, you know, don't want someone touching me, even if it's something that doesn't seem like a big deal. It is a big deal. If, you know, you truly don't want to be touched. Like I said, I don't think that coach did anything. Um, I keep saying egregious because that's the word, but even if it wasn't you, I think you know what I mean. It wasn't something where he probably didn't even think about it. But now I think he will think about it. I think I think he will definitely give a second thought before he does that to um, an, another person, whether it be a man or a woman. And I think that's that's the goal that people have to respect each other's personal space. And Kristen made that crystal clear. And for me, that's an empowering moment for me to look at someone and say, wow. I mean, I hope it, I hope it made sense what we're talking about. Um, I'll post the video tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far, but we will see you tomorrow. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.